What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here, baseball community manager for Out of the Park Developments. Uh, if you've been paying attention today, we actually had a stream earlier today. Uh, I believe Adam was talking about the uh, Franchise Hockey Manager 4, which is going to be releasing in October. Uh, you can head over at otpdevelopments.com right now, uh, get some more info on that, and get your pre order in. Uh, I believe the launch day is October 6th. Uh, he's going to come on. Uh, a little bit later, I believe, for a couple minutes, just to uh, give you the quick rundown. Uh, and then, as always, they have the Franchise Hockey Manager, th uh, Franchise Hockey Manager stream at 10 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. Uh, so, uh, 2020 Padres franchise. Uh, we went 19 and 70 in the regular season. Sadly, uh, you can see right here we lost the wild card, lost the wild card game to the Mets. Those dreaded New York Mets of Rich Gr uh, Rich Grisham fandom. Uh, but we did good. Hey, man, 2020, we went 90 and 72 with this team. Uh, thought we did pretty good. So, hopefully, we can get a nice little off season going here. We'll find out who won the World Series. Maybe, maybe, maybe we won something. I don't know if um, I don't know if Kopech is considered a rookie. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess not. Uh, no, he pitched too much last year. But Kopech did... Yeah, ooh, led the league with 109 walks. That's not good. 11.6 strikeouts per inning. That's pretty good. And 34 starts. That was good. We, we really lucked out there with Michael Kopech this year. Uh, Tinehero. Tinehero could be in there for the Rookie of the Year voting. He went 12-2 and with a 2.85 ERA. So, we got, we got some guys that did pretty good. Um, yeah, let's get to the, let's get through the playoffs and, uh, see what happens here. Again, a tragic, a tragic loss. Though the Mets did finish the season 98 and 64 to get a wild card spot. Yeah, Tinehara was a great signing. Uh, that was like a last second, let's trade a bunch of money away to try to sign a free agent starting pitcher. Uh, and it almost worked out for us. He got roughed up, uh, got roughed up a little bit in the playoff game, uh, it's all good. We still love him. Uh, let's get through. Let's get through this round. Though actually, we haven't looked at the playoff picture, so we should probably do that, I guess. Playoff tree. Uh, we got the uh, Indians and Red Sox in the American League playing for the wild card. Obviously, we lost to the Mets in our wild card. Uh, then we have the Twins and Angels playing, and the Tampa Bay will play the winner of the wild card game. Uh, Washington will play San Diego, and uh, the Cardinals and Dodgers will play in the other NL division series. Uh, let's just hop hop through this event, this round. There we go, Red Sox, Tampa Bay, a battle of the East. So look at that, two battle, two uh, East East matchups uh, in the division series. Uh, speaking of playoffs, I should let you guys know, uh, next week uh, we will have our regularly scheduled uh, stream, uh, but then after that, please make sure you're following us on Twitter, at OOTP Baseball, uh, because things are going to get dicey depending on uh, how playoff games work out. I believe uh, the Wednesday, the following Wednesday after next week's stream, uh, I believe that's going to be the NL, the NL wild card game, uh, so if that's happening, we won't stream... Uh, during baseball games, because obviously we know you guys want to watch baseball games, so we definitely won't be streaming uh, during those. And I think the whole month there's there's stuff like that on Wednesday nights, so make sure you definitely make sure you're following us on Twitter, uh, so that you'll know when we're going live. Or if you're on here on twitchtv slash Developments, uh, make sure you turn your notifications on to know when we go live. Uh, because yeah, I think NL Wild Card is the first week uh, of October. Then the second week is like game two of the NLDS, and then the week after that's like game four of the NLCS, and game five of the ALCS, and then as of right now, I believe uh, games two and seven of the World Series are on Wednesdays. Uh, so yeah, de things are definitely going to be up in the air uh, for the next streams, but next week will be good, uh, but the October ones are going to be the thing. Uh, also, another thing to let you guys know... Uh, 
uh, was it last week I mentioned Snaggle Jay is joining the team? Uh, it was either last week or the week before. Uh, Snaggle Jay is also going to be starting a, a weekly stream on this channel. Uh, we're going to try to... He's probably going to do a fictional league or maybe a historical league, something that so that we're both doing something different. Um, so you guys don't get too confused and don't mix up the, the streams. Uh, but we're going to keep doing the Padres for a little bit uh, before we do something else for the off season, I think. Uh, and Snaggle's going to be do, doing something else. Uh, I think he's. I think he was talking about doing a fictional league, uh, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, so definitely, definitely be following us on Twitter uh, and here, and turn your notifications on for here, uh, so you know when we go live. Uh, back to the playoff tree. Where are we? Uh, Tampa Bay's up 2-1. Twins are up 2-1. Dodgers and Nationals both advance. All right, Tampa Bay Rays and Twins go, and Dodgers and Nationals. Everybody's got to win. Tampa Bay beats the Twins five, four games to one. Nationals go into the best of seven game, and the Washington Nationals pull it off. All right, Tampa Bay and Washington. Did Washington win? Did Tampa Bay won last year? You guys got a better member than me. Ooh, we got some posted guys coming over. Uh, no. No. Mm, no. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? He's five foot six, one eighty. Beast. Beast behind the plate. Hits bombs, though. 2018 hit 342 with 59 home runs. Okay. Okay. I mean, we might need to look into that catcher. $20 million. We can't pay that. Never mind. <laughs> now we get, our, get, our, get all our hopes, and then we see that he's $20 million. Eric Campbell? Is not the guy that played for the Mets? I assume not, right? Uh, it is the guy that played for the Mets. <laughs> look at that. Went over there, now he's coming back. Yeah, we can't pay a $20 million post for for him. He's over, I guess he's over, uh, he's 25, yes. Oh, uh, this is another guy we've been looking at recently, or in the past couple of years, was Sagomo. Uh, I think I have a note in to go check at him, actually. Yeah, yeah. Joe Weiland, was, he was in the American League, right? Uh, he was with Seattle. Actually, Seattle, Dodgers, and he was with us in 2014. Yeah, rough year for Sagano. He was one of those guys that we were looking at, because after he did... Yeah, we made a note about him somewhere. See, I got a note over here. When did I create this? Way back in the day. Yeah, we created that on 9.30 of 2017. So we, we've had an eye on him for a while. Yeah, twenty million dollars. We we're we're not we're not playing in that pool. Uh, again, was it a history index? Yeah, Rays did win last year. Good good call. Uh, good call, Bam. The game. You have you have proved that you have a better memory than me. Oh, Bumgarner's on Tampa Bay. What? Let's go. Tanaka's in Washington. All right. Let's see what happens here. Game one. Dylan Batances is also on Washington. Wow. Uh, Nationals take game one. Jose De Leon is their ace. Uh, he went 13-7 and seven with a 3-2-3 ERA. So, Nats up one. Blake Snell versus Frettel. Versus Freedy. All right, Nationals take game two. Trey, uh, Trey Turner? Yeah, Trey Turner with a bomb that game. 
Trey Turner playing real good. Dominated in twenty in twenty eighteen. Kind of fell off a little bit last year. I'm getting back there though. How did B Harp do? Hit fifty five home runs last year. Forty seven this year with a three forty eight batting average. Let's go. Jared Kendall out here swinging, hitting bombs. Hit two seventy with nineteen jacks. Take that. B Harper is so good. Uh, you want to check out Washington Harper's uh, contract status? Yeah, they're giving him like thirty million a year. He signed a seven-year, two hundred million dollar contract. Seems a little cheap. Seems a little cheap. Must have got a deal for him. Did he? Yeah. So he got like a little bit hurt. So I think that was part of it. Yeah, remember he had back spasms in 2018 and back spasms in 2017. I think that's what uh, that's what happened. I think I think when the CPU realizes that they they don't love that too much. <laughs> Who did we get? We got a 16 year old third baseman from South Africa named. Athara Shaka Navia. Arthasadhaka Ar 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 Navia. Gotta find them. You gotta find them wherever they are, man. Got a one star pot. Possible. Anything's possible here. I mean, it was a big year. Look at the Pirates. They had, um, in real life, I think they had uh, two different guys from countries that have never had a, baseball a major league baseball player before. Uh, and I think they have a third guy uh, in their minors. I forget where he's from, but also from a country that never had a baseball player. Uh, I wonder if that guy has a nickname. He does not have a nickname. You know what? I'm going to call him Ace. I'm going to call him Ace Boogie. Is that better? Was it uh, the Pirates had a guy from Jamaica? Uh, who was the other one? Was it South Africa? Was it Africa? He might have been the first South African. I can't think of what his name was off the top of my head. Uh, oh, uh, I'll think about it. I'll try. To, I'll try to figure it out. Well, okay, where are we in these playoffs? Uh. Game three also goes to the Nationals. Gio Gonzalez. Tossing a little gem, I assume. Uh, Gio went eight and a third. Not bad. Pantsis came on to get the save. Aight, aight, aight. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I remember their outfielder. It was an outfielder in second baseman. Uh, and Gope, Gift and Gope was one of them. Uh, I don't remember the other guy. I think Gift and Gope was the South African, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull it up as we're as we're doing this. Uh, so a gem for Geo. They could probably end it with another dub, but Tampa Bay takes the win. There we go. Matt Duffy with a jack. Matt Duffy, I feel like was someone we were looking at for a hot minute. Willie Adamas playing pretty good. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, I got it. It's, uh, they got Davadis Nevaruskas, Nevaruskas, uh, from Lithuania. Yeah. That was it. It was Gift and Gope and Nevaruskas. We can check out how they're doing. Uh, there it is. Nationals behind the arm of Joe Ross. Get the win. Jackie Bradley Jr. with the bomb. Not bad. MVP Joe Ross. Let's go, Joe Ross, man. Joe Ross, 1 0, 15.2 innings, or 15 and two thirds innings, 14 hits against, four walks, 10 hits, 1.15 ERA. Pretty good. 
pretty good. I wonder how... Hmm. Uh, let's just get to the offseason. I just want to see how the Astros did. Five eighty one. That's a fine score. That's a damn fine score. Proud of myself. Proud of all of you guys for helping. We got a new budget. <gasps> oh my god! Ninety six million guys. Is that Adam? Clicking around. It is me. Yeah. Adam, what's yep. going on? We just got our budget Not up much. to ninety six million. How excited awesome. are you? I am very pumped. Oh my god! I'm so happy right now. Almost as pumped as I am watching the Gold Eyes play. Gold Eyes are, uh, I don't know if you guys on the stream know, uh, this year we partnered with the Winnipeg Gold Eyes of the American Association. I assume it's not American you because they're, correct. it is American. Yep. Interesting. Why would a national league have a international team in it? I don't know. <laughs> Why um, does the American League have the Blue Jays? It's unbelievable. I don't understand it all. Uh, yeah, what are they up? I know it was 15 zip last time I looked. It is currently fifteen two in the bottom of seven. Oh god! They let up two. They gave they gave up two. Uh, yeah, Axel, this is game five of their championship. Uh, it is best of five series. Uh, yep. They're up fifteen two. Wow! They came ready to play. Sadly, this would be for back to back championships. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, sadly, our other partner, the Trenton Thunder, lost in their championship series. But I mean, you partner with us, you're getting to the playoffs. Uh, I believe uh, last year the Staten Island Yankees who partnered with us, they also made it to the playoffs and into their championship series but lost. So I'm going to uh, need a Winnipeg Gold Eyes hat. You have to make that happen. I think we could probably do that. Uh, hold on, let me just go through these. Oh, no, Ozzy Guillen is leaving us, our bench coach. No. Uh, the Nationals just won the World Series uh, Adam, over the Rays. Uh, I just wonder how much I have for free agency. That's literally all I care about right now. Uh, uh, we had 91, now we're up to 96. So, I mean, we got some more money. That's, that's helpful. Ugh. I don't, did we forget to re-sign Ozzy? I thought I offered him, I, th I thought he didn't want to come back. Yeah, he has no interest in signing. That's why we didn't resign him. <coughs> so, Adam, big day. Uh, you guys announced Franchise Hockey Manager 4. We did. How did the stream go? I didn't get a chance to uh, watch it because some people have jobs. It's weird. Uh, well, we, we tried something different because we wanted to try and hit maybe a noon hour for some people and try and get some of our overseas fans to watch. And uh, it, w it went very well. Uh, other than, you know, of course, we had to have one technical hook up, hiccup because... There always is going to be that when you're streaming, apparently. Yes, it's the usual. Yeah. Uh, it introduced a lot of the new features uh, th that uh, if you're on the got the newsletter, you would have seen, and and maybe sprinkled in a few extra ones just for fun. Yeah, tell us about all, all the goodies so that uh, we know, or that the beautiful folks here can know if they missed the stream today. For sure. Uh, a couple of things we did was we really listened to our fans, and that helped dictate what we went for this year. So most importantly, the NHL added a new team this year. I've heard of this. Which is, yes, the Vegas Golden Knights. So uh, they came in with an expansion draft, and uh, so you have the ability to take over Vegas, of course, or if you want to redo that expansion draft and pick somebody who they didn't, for instance, say, Roberto Luongo, uh, you could grab him instead of uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, who they got. Mm. Uh, I'm another a big fan area. of uh, Marc Andre Fleury. Yeah. He... Uh, yeah. Wait, he was on the Penguins. He at some was. Point? Yes. All right. Nice. Yep. Yep. It has Good. been since he was drafted first overall, back in 2004, I think. Good. My limited hockey knowledge uh, still seems to pay off. I'm very excited about this. Oh yes. <laughs> and now he's on Vegas. Uh, another thing we also did was we went back to the beginning of the NHL, all the way back to 1917. So you can now play all the way back to 1917. Wow. And that includes the NHL and the Western Western Hockey League, Western Pacific Hockey League. The name of it is escaping me at the moment. It's but, only uh, it from a, 100 years ago, so I feel like you should be on top of this. Yeah, well, 
it's not a hockey league that a lot of people realize, but they did win the Stanley Cup for a while. It's also where, if you are a longtime OOTP uh, fan, you'll remember our stream last year, we had the Vancouver Millionaires. That's where that team name came from. Is it really? I thought we just yes. made that up. No, no, no. We took that from a hockey, a hockey team from many, many years ago. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. The more you know. Yeah. Uh, we also did a really big rewrite on our fictional games. Uh, which is something people have been asking for, and to give a lot more customization in the structures, how many divisions, how many teams per division, how many conferences, you know, uh, and and really uh, did a lot of work there. Uh, we also included a new challenge mode, which basically for all 30 teams, except for Vegas, there is now a historical challenge for you to complete. Uh, these can range from making the playoffs to winning the Stanley Cup sooner to uh, maybe winning multiple cups in a row. For instance, I believe Montreal's is winning six cups in a row. Jeez. Which is something they did. I mean, uh, it doesn't make it easy. <laughs> no, no, no. It, they are not easy achievements to get. Some will be a little bit easier than others, but some of them are going to take a lot of work for you to do. Uh, it's also one of the ways you get the achievements in the game, so... And I had a lot of fun naming some of them. So, yes, I got IMs uh, frequently about your excitement on some of these. <laughs> we also got uh, added the Shop Now Player or Shop Player Now feature from Out of the Park Baseball, which is uh, a little bit different. It doesn't have its own screen like it does in Out of the Park. Instead, you'll just get personal messages from any team that wants the player, mm -hmm. and you can decide what deal or if there is a deal out there that you like. Okay. Uh, other than that, those are those are the major ones. Just going over here in my head and taking a look. Uh, another important thing, we have all updated rosters, of course, but we've also added several new playable leagues, including the Champions Hockey League, which is something uh, a lot of people have been asking for, which if you're a little bit of a soccer fan and a hockey fan, you might, it's the same kind of idea. Winners from different leagues go on to compete in a much larger league tournament ah. versus some of the best. So we added some leagues, including, just taking a quick look, uh, fr a French league is now in uh, Norway, Poland. I, I'm going to need you to pronounce all these league names. Uh, there's <laughs> And just tell me if there's an umlaut in the middle of a name. Just, just so we oh, know. there is definitely some, like the Get Liga, which is uh, Norway. Sweet. And the Deutsche Liga. Now, is there Germany. a Super Liga that I should know about? Well, that's what the, that's kind of what the Champions Hockey League is. Oh, even better. So it acts as that big top one. Now, is Oleg Tavardoski in any of these leagues? Oleg Tavardoski? No, no, he's retired now. Are we sure? Because I've heard yes. of a lot of people that retire, and then I find out seven years later they've been dominating the Russian league, and nobody's told now, me. Now, let, let me tell you something. Oleg Tavardoski is a name I know because as a Winnipeg Jets fan, uh, he was one of the players Team Solani was traded for. See? And so... I do know that. It all and comes so that name. Up. Yeah. So a few more things. Uh, we've added line chemistry. Uh, there's a new Hall of Fame system where you can vote to get players in. Uh, you can get player uniform assignments, which includes retired numbers now. Uh, so you're not going to see, for instance, like anyone with the number 99 in the league because that's been retired league-wide or number nine in Detroit because that's Gordie Howe. Mm -hmm. And also because, you know, we have a Red Wing stream coming up after this one. Uh, there's alumni list. We've done some more uh, statistic tracking. Single game, single game records. And what I know, TJ, you're going to like is uh, there is now some sound and visual improvements for playing the game. Ooh. I like just, it. I'll, just, sometimes I like to just go in and just have a game go and just I read the stuff that happens. Yeah. And I get very excited when it happens. Yes. Yeah, so that's, well, that's good. The only thing that trips me up is the names. And then I'm like, I get really lost. Yeah. I'd be like, into the quarter, but, uh, uh, no, I don't know. Bobrovsky. Bobo, Bobro V Sky. There you go. Uh, what, one more thing that we added, which we revealed on our uh, stream that was earlier today, which is now up on YouTube as well. Uh, we YouTube. have added OTP developments. Come on, you got yes. uh, to get in there. We also uh, added storylines this year to FHM, which is something, again, I had my direct hand in doing which was a lot of fun uh writing for 
some things to happen, which uh, I know. Well, uh, one of the things we revealed on the stream, for instance, is uh, the Spanish influenza, which kind of killed, unfortunately, a bunch of people after uh, World War One, mm -hmm. um, and actually ca ended up canceling the uh, uh, the Stanley Cup series in 1919. Is one of the things that can't happen. Interesting. So it's like Sim City. Yeah. In 1918, I guess, or 19, yeah. So it's like City and hockey in one. Pretty much. Can Godzilla destroy a stadium? Maybe. Is that, is that something there's we have a... not announced yet? Did I just make, did I just make that up, hit no, on the no. dot, and then now we have to backpedal? I understand. No, no, but, I, you know, I snuck in some references to some, some very uh, hockey things. I feel like you're. Um, I feel like you're neither confirming nor denying that Godzilla can destroy your hockey team's uh, arena. I, I okay. I will confirm that you cannot. Ugh, don't don't ruin it. That's unfortunately. Right I'm sorry. Spoilers, man. Come on. Well, you know, I mean, there's some there's some th simple things like uh, a player falls off the roof and and gets hurt. Nice. I forget. And, yeah, someone did that uh, in the majors this year. I forget who it was. Some yes. relief pitcher, if I'm not mistaken. But. Gotta be careful up there. Yeah, there's also one where uh, one one that you might rarely see, but uh, a player gets hurt uh, taking out the garbage. Ooh. Now, uh, not because he's picking up the garbage, which I believe is a loose puck in front of the net. <laughs> correct. No, this this is, this is an at home thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. You are correct on that. But uh, there, there's some good ones in there, kind of hidden. You'll you'll see them eventually. So don't want to spoil too many. I'm just saying, if we get this Godzilla license. Let's uh, make sure he destroys the game. I, I, I doubt that would happen. Come on, man. It's Godzilla. He's a good guy. So there are some changes. Again, I would recommend checking out the video we did and uh, definitely come on down to the a new, brand new official forums that are up for FHM4, mm -hmm. as well as uh, if you order the game right now from our Accelerate site, you save 10%, so it's thirty five ninety nine American right now. Excellent. Where can they do that, Adam? Come on, pitch it. You can go, come to ootpdevelopments.com. See? Slash. You know, if it's and, slash, and you can just scroll down a little bit, hit discover, and you'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say it was? Twenty nine ninety nine? Thirty nine ninety nine? Thirty five ninety nine. Look at that. Uh, and that's for the uh, Accelerate version? That's the standalone yes, version? Yes. Uh, this is the standalone version. The Steam version is coming, but it's not available to purchase yet. Yeah, and when it launches on Steam, uh, we will have the 10% off, uh, I believe, for the first week. So you can still get that, that price if uh, if you're interested in that. I believe so, but I'm not confirming that at this point, because I don't... That I, I, think it was in the, the I think it was in the email. But I could be wrong. I could be lying. So you should probably just buy it now. Yes, get, cannot confirm. So. Get, get them pre-order numbers up. Just Yeah, just buy it now, probably. Yeah. Uh, did you fix the... Audio and video from earlier. I don't know. Did you fix the audio um, from the stream? I got it pieced back together a bit, but unfortunately some of the audio is just not quite recoverable, but uh, it picks up right where it should pick up, where it picked up in the stream, which is about 10 minutes in. 10 minutes in? Yeah. Right. Uh, well, sometimes there's only so much you can do. And I'll just post a link here in uh, the chat. Are there, are there a lot of Lithuanian, is there a Lithuanian hockey league? Uh, let me see. I believe there is. Okay. Uh, we were discussing earlier that the first Lithuanian born baseball player uh, played this year in real life. Devadas Nevroskis. Um, That's quite the mouthful. Yeah. I just said it fast because I figure if I screwed up, missed up some of the letters, nobody will notice. Yeah, uh, good call. He actually went three and two this year with a seven five nine ERA, which is not that great, but eighteen Ks in 20, 21 innings, pretty good. But batters were hitting four hundred against him. Batting average on ball oh. play was uh, three ninety four, so not great there. Oh. Uh, yeah, so definitely go check out franchise hockey manager four. I need to come back on the stream. We need to start a new thing. Maybe we'll redraft these uh, Las Vegas Knights. That sounds like something we could do, TJ. Who can I get? Connor McDavid. No. Is that Surprise. a? Is that a real player? Yes, it is. Secondly, is he good? 
He's very good. He Third might league. be the best why player in the NHL. Why can't we get him? Uh, because he was drafted by Edmonton, he I don't believe he had to be protected in the expansion draft because of his age. Twelve years old, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> no, he's a little bit older than that. Like seventeen. No, you have to be eighteen to be drafted. Is that true? That's uh, not true. You have to be eighteen by the by September fifteenth to be drafted. So you can technically be seventeen when you get drafted. Is what you said. Yes. But you have to be 18 by the time camps kick off, basically. Uh, also, is oh no, he retired. Are there is there a South African uh, league? Do they play hockey in South there, Africa? It's a great question. There is not a South African league, but you can take over their country as the national team leader if you okay. get offered the job. All right. Well, we got Gifton Gope, who sadly did not make it back up to the major leagues. Uh, he did in real life. But he's the first. Uh, so technically, in our out of the park franchise, there has not, to my knowledge, been a South African player uh, in the majors. That's interesting. In real life, we had the first one this year. So. Yes. Well, there'll probably be more over the few years as hockey continues to pick up a bit. True. Sure. Uh, Adam, thank you very much for coming on. I mean, you can stick around oh, if thanks. you want to. If you want to talk about no, the Blue Jays, I, I gotta get. Hold on, let me see. Uh, name your favorite baseball player. Go. Right now? Oh, man. I I'm, I guess the gut answer is still Josh Donaldson. I like watching that guy swing. Good, because if you would have said Joey Bats uh, in 2019, he hit 164 uh, with the White pretty Sox. Near he's, pretty <laughs> near what he's hitting this year, I think. Oh, good, because in 2020, he hit 202. That's not bad. Uh, Josh Donaldson. Let's go see how he's doing. Is he retired? I'm surprised no. he's not retired. Uh, no, I think Joey... Uh, hold on, let me check his. He is in the last year of his of a one-year contract, so questionable. He's 40 years old in 28 days as of where we are, so... Uh, Makes sense. Josh Donaldson is not spelt with a slash in his name. Uh, the bringer of rain is still with the Blue Jays. Uh, his average has dropped off a little bit, though. Uh, hit 239 in 2017 with 26 home runs, but then hit 262 in 2018, 269 in 2019, back down to 233 in 2020. Okay, so how'd the Blue Jays do this year? Because I'm a little bit uh, behind. The Blue Jays. And just before I go. Uh, 69 and 93. That sounds probably about the tra trajectory they're currently on, so which is third worst in the American League. Ties them for... Third worst in the American League. Like sixth worst in baseball. Well, they should have a good draft pick then. Yeah, we hope so. Uh, maybe they did get someone, huh? I don't know. All right, well, thanks for having me on, TJ. Thank you for coming on. And guys, don't forget, uh, Franchise Hockey Manager stream at the top of the hour. And you can head over to otpdevelopments.com right now and pre-order Franchise Hockey Manager 4. Adam, have a great stream later on. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you again, TJ. Later. Boot this guy out of here. Back to baseball. Let's go. 108 losses for Cincy. That's rough. Uh, yeah, 54 and 108. That's, that's tough. Do they have anybody? They still got Vado and stuff? No, they got nobody. They still have Eugenio Suarez and Jesse Winkler. Joey Votto hit 209. What happened to Joey Votto? Does not age well. Wow. Played good in 2017 and then just kind of fell off the fell off the face of the earth. Uh, any other players you want to check out before we uh, before we keep going? I do want to see... Uh, I want to check out how the Astros are doing, because I feel like they should be good. Jose Altuve hit 322 with 213 hits. Been leading the league in hits. Cardinals fan wants to see Yadier. I assume he means Yadier Alvarez. Yadier Molina, no team after 2018. 18-2 Winnipeg Golden Eyes. They were Gold Eyes. Uh, not retired, still a free agent, but we can offer him a contract if we want. Hit 296. 
with the White Sox in 2018. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, uh, Lacos wants to see Mookie Betts. Still with the Red Sox. Hit 325 last year. Hit 260 this year. But did bring the power numbers up uh, with 27 home runs. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. I just want to see that Astros team, actually. <coughs> 80 and 80, 82 and 80, not bad. New Eric Hosmer's over here. He hit 259 with 14 home runs. Alex Bregman, 317 with 29 jacks. Let's go. Can I trade for him? <laughs> Hineski Gariel, 220 with 14 home runs. Carlos Correa, 294 with 42 home runs. What? <laughs> Let's go. Screenshot. Yeah, Bergman's doing great, too. Wow. Uh, who else? They got George Springer, 232 with 32 home runs. They're hitting a lot of bombs. Mm, speaking of the angels in the chat, Trout? That's definitely not his name. Trout is more like his name. Millville Meteor, still with the angels. Walked 121 times. He hit 342 with 41 jacks. He got a triple crown. Triple crown in 2018. We're hitting 342 with 41 home runs at 123 RBIs. Uh, hit 312 in 2019, 279 now. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, who's that guy? Do you think uh, Reese Hoskins never makes it to the pros, does he? Wow. Yeah, so like Reese Hoskins, we're going to have to definitely check out his rating for next year. Uh, who's the other guy? Olsen. I have heard people saying that Olsen's kind of a beast. Is it Matt Olsen? For Oakland? Uh, hey, 24 Jackson Triple A. Hey, had two good years in Triple A. Where is Miggy? Miguel Cabrera. I know, um, what's his name? Was doing real good. Miguel Cabrera hitting 316, 19 home runs. Lost a little bit of the power. Only played 104 games, though. So he's still playing well. We got, uh, what do we got on him? <clears throat> 552 home runs right now. 2,673 games. 3,177 hits right now. Um, uh, we know Pujols is retired. I don't remember what numbers he ended up with. The... Pujols ended with 209... Oh, 2966 with hits. 618 home runs, 305 average. Close. So close. Um, what's Verlander been up to while we're here? Verlander's 217 and 160. Had a, had a rough couple couple years. Stayed in Detroit, though. Uh, who did I want to see? Bellinger. Uh, yeah, Bellinger's got hit. Didn't play in 2017. Uh, but 44 home runs in 2018, 39 in 2019, 43 in 2020. Judge, how did Judge do? 
which the how is judge doing uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. oh what happened here had all sorts of problems he get hurt where did he get sent down sprained an ankle fractured a thumb Ooh, you know what the problem was? Strikeouts. Just striking out way too much. Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez put it together. 36 home runs. 23, 23, 41. Not bad, not bad. Anybody else uh, you want to look at before we, see, before we keep going a little bit further? I assume we didn't win any of those uh, awards. They probably would have told us. <coughs> right, uh, Ozzy Albi is a second baseman, uh, platinum six second baseman. Uh, twenty twenty gold gloves. None of our guys, sadly. Who wins Rookie of the Year? Only had 285, 38 home runs though. Wow. Wow. Pretty good. Ah, oh, Dodgers manager Dave Roberts is manager of the year. Man. Nah, all hitters. All hitters. Syndergaard with the Cy Young, obviously. Oh man, we didn't get a we didn't get a mention here either. He was twenty one and two? My god. Match was 18 and 8. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bryce Harper, MVP. Hit 348, 47 tracks, and 118 RBIs. Wow. Did he win it last year? I, I hope he won it last year, too. Yeah, he won it. He won 2018, 2019, and 2020 MVPs. He missed the Triple Crown this year. Missed the Triple Crown last year. Oh, so close. So close. Wow. Wait, did Blake Snell get AL MVP? Wow, Blake Snell got AL MVP. 23 and 4 with a 2.58 ERA. Beating out Manny Machado, who hit 320 with 44 home runs. And Mike Trout, who hit 279 with 33 home runs. Well, I understand that, but. Wow. Blake Snell. I mean, we saw the, the, the Rays went to the World Series back to back years. On the back of Blake Snell, apparently. Okay. Arbitration Center. You guys, I need you guys to uh, accept your arbitration. <coughs> Hopefully we do decent in arbitration. Patiently waiting. Todd Frazier's available. 
We're not going to sign any of those guys. Just in case you were curious. Jeff Samarja is going to be available. I don't know if we're going to make that play. Carpenter's a little old for us. Zach Britton's a little old for us. All these guys are a little old for us. Roberto Ozuna. I mean, we don't really need a closer, but... I'll take one. If we can get Dylan Batances, who we definitely can't pay for. Alright, let's see how we do in salary arbitration. Quackenbush. Wanted 1-7, got 1-5. That's a win for us. 200k. Wanted 1-5, Got one three. That's another win for us. That's four hundred k. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a track just because I want to see uh, how we end up doing. Actually, in this. where's my pen? I'm gonna use I'm gonna use green ink. So do we have four hundred four hundred already? He wanted five point seven. We got four point two. So we saved 1.5 million. Good, good. Clevenger wanted 1.3. He got 8.50. So it's that. Like 500,000? Okay, okay. Asuhe wanted 4.2. Got 5. So let's take out 800 there. Okay. Hunter Renfro wanted 1-3, he got 9-5. Let's just call that a 400,000 win for us. We're currently winning by $2 million. I consider that a win. Wanted 7-6, got 6-5. <coughs> uh, so what's that? 1.25? Crushing, crushing. Goal Eyes won back to back championships. Congratulations, Winnipeg. Manny Margot wanted 7.5, got 6. That's another 1.5 for us. Okay, Mason Malatakis. Ooh, we lost on that one. Lost 300,000 to him. Our current tally, we're up 4.5 million. Consider that a win. Colin Ray wanted 1.2, got 800. It's another 400 for us. Let's go. Austin Hedges wanted 7.7, .7, got 6.5. That's another 1.2 for us. Iglesias wanted 6, got 7 and a quarter. Or we offered 6. He got 7 and a quarter. So that's a, that's a loss for us there. That's, that's what we just made up on Austin Hedges. Uh, I am still interested in trading Austin Hedges if we can uh, if we can get something good for him. We'll have to definitely definitely look into that during the uh, the owners meeting, the winter meetings. Alan Cordoba wanted four four, got three eight, so that's six hundred for us. Okay, John Gray. John Gray is good. Okay. Saved 100k on Matten. Good, good. So all together, we five, we saved like 5.6 million dollars. That's pretty good. I should have just extended Gray. I feel I kind of feel bad now. All right, free agency filings. Show me potato salad. Blue Jays got Seguro. Seven years, $81 million. E. That's not bad. But the $20 million uh, posting fee is what kills him. 11 million a year. Not bad. It's not bad. We'll, see. we'll have to see how he does. We'll keep an eye on him. I think we still got the note on him. So, Yep, 
Yeah, he was 28, I think, when we were looking at him. All right, who's the top free agents out here? Overall rating, all players. Patances, Britton, Davis, Osuna, Joanna Cespedes, Sam Dyson, Kelvin Herrera, Jay Eklin, Luis Moncada, Mike Moore, and Addison Reed, Darvish, Colome, Eaton, Grandal, Will Harris, Craig Kimbrell, Aaron Sanchez, Brian Shaw, Zanino Estrada. A lot of oldies. Randall Grichuk. Uh, Hunter Pence, old, old, Kako, Kato, Joey Bats, Joey Bats, free agent if we want him, Ian Kroll, DJ LeMayhew, Anthony Rizzo, only hit 202 last year, if he didn't hit 202 last year, we'd be in the Rizzo, Ryan Braun, wants 1.18, or 1.8, not bad. Carlos Carrasco, Brett Cecil, Yuneski Gurial, Daniel Murphy. What happened to him? Sergio Romo, Josh Tomlinson. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot to go over. A lot, a lot, a lot. Jorge Soler. Still only 28. Aaron Sanchez 28. Aaron Sanchez might be a play. Uh, Kelvin Herrera, probably not. Cespedes? Uh, hit 249 last year, probably not. Why does it say we have no money for free agents? We're at 82. Yeah, might be better off making trade deals. Yeah, our salary took a big jump with all those arbitration guys. All right. We'll have to figure it out. We make, made our goal of reach the playoffs. Build a championship team by 2023. Ooh. Okay. We'll figure it out. We always do, right? Our ticket price was $10 last year? I don't think that's true. It's definitely like 16 Okay. Yeah, this will be... This will be something we'll have to figure out. All right, folks. Uh, that's going to do it for tonight's stream. Uh, again, make sure you follow us on Twitter at OTP Baseball, also Facebook.com slash OTP Baseball, uh, and right here on Twitch.tv slash OTP Developments. Make sure you hit the notifications, uh, enable the notifications so you know when we go live. Uh, every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern is the Out of the Park Baseball stream, followed by the Franchise Hockey Manager stream. Um, but as I said, next week will be regularly scheduled time, uh, but then after that we're going to be having the real-life playoffs, uh, so we are going to try to work around that. We're going to try not to miss a week. We're probably going to be having uh, uh, two streams, two baseball streams a week now, uh, now that Snaggle Jay is going to be with us. Um, but yeah, stick around for the French Hockey Manager 4 stream. Uh, sorry, French Hockey Manager 3 stream. Uh, head over to otpdevelopments.com and get your pre-order in for Franchise Hockey Manager 4, which I believe is coming out October 6th. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me tonight, folks. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll try to see if we uh, we can find some money to make some deals. Maybe it's time for uh, Austin Edges to hit the bricks. <coughs> <coughs> thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you guys back here again next week. 
9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. Take it easy, folks.